Welcome to part 9 of my Tavo Black Buddha Mods videos. In the last video, I ended the video by showing you that I installed my PrintPipe Plus 3D printing surface, and then I moved on to showing you that I'm having connection problems with my OctoPrint installation on my Raspberry Pi. Well, I fixed that temporarily after that video, but it was signaling something which I will get to later in this video. But before I, that, I will mention that I finished the curing process for the PrintPipe Plus and then moved on to testing the new Flex 3 Drive Extruder. And I had a lot of problems with that. And if you've seen the progress update video, you know some of it, but there is even more. And like, it may seem like a simple problem, but it took me almost two weeks of work and the entire week of work not just the weekends but finally it's done and I will now get to the details of that so the problem that I'm having is the when I'm 3d printing for some reason the 3d printer gets stuck and right now it's doing its PL touch calibration thing and then after that it will move on to starting the 3D print from the left side of the print pad and it will get stuck there. You will see that in a second. But The weirder thing is the extruder itself works fine and if I just issue an extrude command to Octoprint or Printerface or whatever it extrudes fine and it only gets stuck when I'm just 3D printing. So it's a pretty weird problem. And that's why it took me a while to solve it. So, if you look at it now, it's just about to get stuck. So, to solve this, first of all I tried a few different troubleshooting steps and then the main thing that I initially suspected was there was a bit of a problem with the firmware causing the BL touch to freak out a bit and the Z axis to move a bit it's hard to explain but it was moving a bit weirdly so first of all I fixed that by recalibrating the firmware a few times and then readjusting the location of the end stops but that finally fixed that weirdness but that wasn't the problem then I moved on to experimenting with feed rates, jerk settings, E steps etc I spent a few days on those as well and I couldn't fix it through those either and after that it was on Monday I decided to post the progress update video here and also ask for help on few online communities and the most helpful one was the Black Widow owners group on Facebook as you can see there are a shit ton of replies under my post and I'm really thankful for that a billion different people tried to help me and the things that I tried include looking at my G-Code start code, trying a different slicer, different G-Codes, messing again with my jerk acceleration settings, and obviously all of these were just trial and error things and none of these worked. And it, at this point it was obvious that there was a hardware issue. I initially suspected my TMC2100 drivers since these drivers have a reputation of being unreliable unless calibrated perfectly. So I tried swapping my TMC2100 driver on the extruder to the stock Allegro driver, which didn't help. It acted a bit differently and by that I mean it managed to print the first layer but it was very inconsistent and after the first tail it got stuck anyway. I don't have footage of this try but I have the first printed layer and as you can see it looks horrible due to the inconsistent extrusion. So I switched back to my TMC12100. After that someone suggesting unplugging the motor to see if it is damaged and I tried that and it was not. Even though the motor was not plugged in the whole thing got stuck the exact same way as before. At this point the main thing that I started to suspect was the MKS port, but I don't have a replacement for that so 
it wasn't something that I could just swap out and try. Someone suggested me to use a lower, like something ridiculously low VREF, <laughs> saying that it works better with higher gear ratio extruders, and they solved it by doing this, so I lowered it to 0.5 or 0.6, something like that, volts, but it didn't work either. And last thing after that, that I did, which was the solution, at least temporary solution, was to reconfigure my TMC2100 driver to use half step rather than the common 16 micro steps, and then lower my E steps by 8, and it worked. But unfortunately, this defeats the main advantage of Flex 3 drive. The reason that I say this defeats the main advantage of Flex 3 drive is because Flex 3 drive has a gear ratio of 40 to 1, and by reducing the my E steps, so the resolution by 8, uh, I basically made it pretty much the exact same thing as the stock extruder which had 5 to 1 gear ratio but there was no other solution that I could find and now the I will get get to the detail of the problem and that is the same as my last suspicion the MKS board is not capable of generating the signal to drive the driver to so that the driver can drive the motor so if you don't know, the way this works is after signal reaches the main board, the MKS board, the MKS board chip generates a signal that goes to the driver, which then generates the, in the signal that will drive the motors. There is nothing wrong with my 2 mc 2100 driver there. It can do its work, at least in theory, but the problem seems to be that the MKS board isn't capable of generating the required amount of steps in the required amount of time. So the solution to that would be to replace my MKS board with a different board. I don't know if my MKS board is faulty and replacing it with another MKS board will work or if I have to replace it with some other better board but anyway I'm going to live with this temporary solution at least for now because it will it should work and after some time maybe I will switch to a different MKS board or more likely I will switch to a better board like a duet or something along those lines but those are a bit out of my budget right now and now let's look at my first prints out of the new flex drive extruder I have a bit of a calibration issue with my BL touch and because of that I had some adhesion issues and I had my first two prints didn't adhere and they just removed themselves from the heat pad and then I moved on to my third print which I believe the BL touch was finally properly calibrated but I had another issue with that so before I get to that, I will quickly mention that the reason that you can't see the prints in the current 3D prints is well, two reasons. One, the heat pad is now black, but the second reason is uh, when troubleshooting the fan on the extruder, I didn't mention this at all because it was something really quick. I had to remove the LED strip and use its power source to power the fan. So that's why there isn't any light under the Z axis. And because of that, it's pretty hard to see the current print. I should fix this pretty soon, so don't worry about it. And here are my first 3D prints. As you can see, the two of them roughly are the same height, and the third one, well, it printed properly, but I had another issue that I just mentioned, and that is my Raspberry Pi some, for some reason died so right now it's not plugged in that's why there isn't any light on it and you should see a light while, right when I'm po pointing the camera but as you can see it doesn't light up so there is something definitely wrong with this I will now just remove this and try to troubleshoot it so I now removed it and tried plugging it in 
while nothing else is connected to Raspberry Pi, hoping that something that I connected to Raspberry Pi was causing it to not boot, but unfortunately that's not the case. It doesn't work even not with nothing else connected to the SD card removed. So my Raspberry Pi is that for sure. And this is what I mentioned in the beginning of the video by saying the connection problems were signaling something and this is what I meant. So I'm just showing you the both sides of my Raspberry Pi right now. And as you can see there's no visual damage. So one of the chips died and probably the, either the voltage side of the things or the main processor, I don't know, I don't know too much about electronics. Something died on this and I can't use it. I ordered a replacement but it will take a while to arrive so there isn't much else I can do in this video. Before I end the video I just wanted to talk about some of my future plans. Obviously the main thing that I'm going to do is fix the things that are going on with the extruder and the Raspberry Pi and hopefully Murphy's law doesn't strike again I have another fault somewhere. And then the things that I'm going to do is I just received my some temperature and humidity sensors here. I will install these in the enclosure. It will be good for measuring the humidity for the health of my filament in there and it will also be good for measuring the ambient and the enclosure temperature. I ordered myself the TMC2130 drivers instead of my current 2100 20, drivers. The main advantage, at least for me, with these drivers is these drivers can be controlled through software. I mean, configured through software rather than relying on configuration pins and the trim pots on it. This will be way better for me because after dealing with these things that I just mentioned in the video, it was very annoying to open the control box, reach in there, try to change things, and then when trying to change the configuration, remove it on solder some things, solder some things else, you know, it was very annoying. So I'm going to switch to TMC 2130s since this can be controlled through software and the things that I'm going to do about that will be coming pretty soon. Lastly, I also want to redo the control box, at least partly redo it. I know I just did it, but the way I did it isn't really that great and I just rushed it towards the end so that I can get a video out that week. So I will do it, part, I will partly reuse the aluminium parts that I recently cut in part 1 and 2 of this mods videos and I will also 3D print the rest. I will use some carbon fiber 3D printing for that as well. So if you want to see carbon fiber, stay tuned for that as well. So I have few things planned for it but it's a bit too early to share details about that but it's also coming so i hope you're excited for the things that i mentioned as well and if you are please subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching